I mean, have you pushed this thing to top speed? No, not really. What? What's up guys? We're I'm good. here with Andrew. You know, Andrew Buck. Started Buck Shot. Buck Shot Racing, about yep. 20 years now. 700 horsepower, direct injection, supercharged. We got our turn signals here. Push to talk radio. All right, that we were just talking about our, our wiper. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the turn signal, you can see a little blinker. It's actually pretty bright. There's the driving lights. There. And then if you really want to get blinded, we got the big... Yeah, I can feel that burning my eyes. My eyes! But you can see, look at the hood. It's, it's shadowed. It's not. Yeah, there's really nothing. I mean, I, I've had some that... Oh Even from God, the inside? Nothing. No, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's the smaller unit that you're talking about, the vintage here. Yep, exactly. That's a little better for your packaging situation here. Yeah, for sure. And I like the trim. I like how this is like a suede overlay trim piece here. Yeah, yeah. So this is a piece that I make. Uh, I just use an aluminum piece and it ties it all together makes everything really rigid. It also looks good. Yeah. The other thing, I think we're going to make a cover for the back to hide all the electronics. But if you look back here, you can see the GM computer, the Switch Pros. Got some relays over there. But yeah, uh, the good part about that too is that you can actually get to that. Yeah, that's exactly. Not, yeah, that's not really out of the way of your hands being able to service that or no. check on something. Yeah, it's always nice to be able to get to the fuses and whatever you need to. With the Switch Pro, we don't have to run a lot of fuses, but it, unfortunately, you just can't get everything. So we still yeah. have some big fuses for the stereo system. Uh, a couple other little items here and there. I like the detail, the 53 detail. Yeah. It's like a bead roll on there. Yeah, I just bead rolled that in there. Thought it would uh, add a little bit to it. A little bit yeah. different material here. We got the suede and then we went to the... Yeah, just there. a little material breakup. And are these seats, these are branded on your brand and they're Simpson seats? Simpson seats, yeah. Okay, and you, really that's, Simpson seats, that's what you Simpson use? Belts. Here's the AC controller. as well yeah. and that and thing has some pressure when it blows oh yeah it's, it's pretty good yeah you got the shift indicator for the albums this is a nice piece up here too yeah i just put that in the rear view yeah because i was i was having a hard time seeing through the side mirrors mm -hmm. I, I put different side mirrors on i put those billet side mirrors on to get it so i could at least see yeah and then this reverse camera is really cool and then you can push on it you can switch to front camera oh that's and awesome that's and then you can do split screen you can see both front and rear yeah and it's also got the speedometer on it. So Do you know was, who makes that? I don't. I found it on Amazon. Oh, cool. That's good enough. Say no more. So all the chassis, is this all chromoly? It looks like a lot of inch and a half on here. Yeah, all chromoly. 120 watt? Uh, 095. 095, okay. And I think the, sus the suspension is inch and three quarter, 095. Yeah. It's chromoly. All our suspension tabs are all custom made, all chromoly. I also noticed I like this, the machine work on the sway bar linkage there. Yeah, those are cool. That's, That's a nice piece, and I like the packaging in that. A lot of the components when you're doing this stuff, they only have one place where they can go. Yeah, right. And it's kind of like the sway bar. That's that's where it's home yeah, is. Yeah, sway you know. bar is it's kind of critical where you put it to get the, the leverages right and to get it to work right. You know, sure. some guys will stuff them in, and it's way up there, and then you got so much leverage on that yeah. sway bar that you need a freaking massive sway bar to make it do anything. Do you ever mess with sway bars on the front? Yeah, yeah, the X2R. This car, I didn't put one on. I didn't think we were gonna need it. It's not quite as heavy. Yeah. And it, and it works really well without a sway bar on the front. Who is it? Who is it? So the 53 is obviously a tribute to Herbie, right? Yeah, it's the Herbie, Herbie Just theme. Wanted to keep the theme. Did Kevin want to have that theme or was this you? Kevin sent me that. Okay. He sent me the picture. He goes, hey, what do you think about this? I go, that'd be cool, let's do it. So yeah, and it works. You know, I like too that you have this detail where it's not only kind of a German feeling of colors, but it's also tied yeah, in, it in to yeah. all your stuff, you know, and it's yeah, classic yeah. kind of good sand car design. Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to tie it all together, especially with the rims. We had black rims on it. We had those on order for from OMF. Man, it made a big difference, though. It really sure. was good. And do you make your own hubs or are those just caps? Yeah, we make our own hubs. So it's a five on five and a half bolt pattern, which is similar to like a Jeep. F-150. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And uh, it's something we've been doing since I started cars. We've sure. been building our own hubs, front and rear. That's so awesome. We make our own rear one with a big bearing so there's no like micro stub to snap off. Yeah. 
There's no internal CV, which if you ever break a CV, uh, I don't know if you've ever had to mess with a, with a hub, but you gotta pull this, the hub yeah. apart, take the wheel off, and it's just, I've done my due diligence uh, to avoid messing with CV yeah, all together. Yeah. <laughs> that's one advantage to being a, a truck guy. On trucks, yeah. Yep. I'm not a buggy dork, and that's the one thing I get out of it, is no CVs. I, I agree with you. <laughs> Gibson exhaust. Yeah, Gibson mufflers, and we had them with, uh, this has got, actually got a catalytic converter in it. Oh, that's awesome. So it made it bearable on the street. For sure. Yeah, and it probably doesn't smell as bad with the catalytics in there too. Yeah, it's- Don't really have the great. fumies. I don't notice any difference. Yeah. It's pretty good setup, so. And then this is your backup camera detail right here? Yeah. This little tab. Like, that was an add-on, so I would have made it built into that. Sure. But, and unfortunately, this camera, I wanted to mount it the other way up, because then it would have been easy, but I can't get it to flip. I can't yeah. get the script flip on. Gotcha. I mean, I'd have to flip the freaking uh -huh. monitor over or something. What was the most challenging part of building this particular car? Where did you run into stuff where you had to really find solutions and well, get through hurdles? The windows were the biggest problem, yeah, I would say. The I mean, glass that, on that there. Was, you know, that was a big problem. And then just getting the body to fit and have all the roll cage tight, you know? So, you know, yeah. you know it's hard to get it to fit to where every, I mean, you know, you do trucks. And yeah. Inside of the cab is not easy. And then also, if you look, I cut the bottom of the chassis off to get rid of that ugly thing that's on a bug. Yeah, there's usually like a big at, return. You can see there. it on this bug right here. You can see this, we cut all this off. Yeah. So I got rid of this ugly section, cut it off. I just put that on a plate there and that bolts right to the chassis. Yeah. So it makes it real solid setup and it makes it look a lot cleaner. Yeah, and I mean, it also kind of gives you some ground clearance on that. Oh yeah. I mean, it, you know what's really nice is when you look at it like this, you can see it's just a straight, it's sights yeah. perfectly flush. Like yeah, there's nothing. Exactly. And it's nice because the pivots are doing the same thing. So when you bought them, you oh, know, yeah, you're not yeah, getting nothing, caught up no. on anything. No. And then these are 35 Toyos. 37s on 37s, the rear, okay. and I got 35s on the front. They look kind of, man, they almost give you that 35 vibe. Yeah. I just thought the 37s was gonna be a little bit too big on the front. I just kind of like the way it looks. You it. almost don't notice that there's two different tire sizes. No, but you would if they were on there. Yeah. If there were 37s on the front, you'd be like, man, that looks too big. I mean, it's it looks a, cool, but it's, it's not a, nice a, a four-wheel drive. It's not a freaking rock crawler. Yeah. It's, a, it's a buggy, you know, so we want all the traction in the rear. Sure. What's the track width on this thing, Andrew? Do you know? Yeah, it's uh, pretty wide. <laughs> is that, is that 90, the number? 95. <laughs> it's pretty wide. And then what's your wheelbase? I never asked that. I think we're about, on this one, 118. 118. And travel front and rear? Travel, we're about 22 front and rear. 22. That's about nice. 22. I limit some of it. I mean, we could we could cycle 24, 24, yeah. 25, but yeah. I limit it for the CVs. For sure. Same with the front, I limit it so we're not topping out on the shock all the time. Yeah, definitely. I got it set a little stiff right now for the street. You'd be surprised at what a difference running the compression adjusters in and the rebound in on the street stops it from doing this a lot. Yeah, know? from so, dipping. Yeah. So on the front, it doesn't wheelie as easy because the rebound doesn't come up as fast. Yeah. And have you pushed this thing top speed? Like, have you tried that out? No, not really. What do you think it would do? I don't know. I, I cruise it at 100 like it's nothing. Jesus Christ.
to go over the whole driving experience, it, it's super impressive. It drives, you know, like a it drives like a road car with a little more play in it. Not yeah, yeah. not play in like a loose way, but a play where you can be playful and you can know where you're going and you kind of rip it and serve it into the turns and Yeah, it's a little bit predictable. It's not like where it wants to just come around on you. It's like some cars where they get a little yeah. bit loose and then that's it. Yeah, and um, there's a ton of grip and um you know, it's not that loud. I mean, you obviously hear the straight cut gears. You hear some of the engine noise, but the bypass, the check valves aren't really that crazy, so it doesn't just yeah. sound like marbles and a tube everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, the whole thing's really impressive. Yeah, and thanks. Yeah. I'm really grateful that you let me come out here and oh, awesome. you gave yeah. us some time. And, and you can look for some Thanks more of these being built because Andrew's going to build one for himself. And I'll get my own, maybe do some changes, some uh, some things I want to change a little yeah. bit. Not too much, but uh, yeah, we'll make another one and see if it's a little better. Thank you, guys. All right. Like and subscribe. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, no problem. Thank <laughs> you.